Welcome back Curry Crew. Today we have a delicious recipe for you. We're going to be making some amazing alu ke parate or alu paratha. Basically what it is, it's an Indian bread stuffed with potatoes and spices and a bunch of different seasonings in there. It's going to taste amazing. You can have it for breakfast, lunch or dinner. So it's definitely one of my favorite recipes to eat growing up and I'm sure you're going to love it as well. So I'm not going to delay it any further. Let's jump right into our video. Let's start making our aloo paratha. In step one, I have taken one and half cup of whole wheat flour in the container. I'm going to add one tablespoon of ghee in it and one half teaspoon of salt. Mix it well and knead the dough with water. I'll add water as we need. The dough consistency should be like a roti or a pizza dough better. We are going to add little bit water at a time so that our dough is not too liquidy and it's perfect consistency. And for people who are new to Indian food, alu paratha is a roti or a paratha stuffed with mashed and spiced potatoes. I learned them from my mom actually and that was one of my favorite go-to breakfast or uh, dinner and I'm sure you can eat it with a curd or you can eat it with raita, you can eat it with chutney and I'm sure you would also enjoy it a lot. So right now we are kneading the dough by adding a little bit water at a time. So I love aru paratha because they are like a complete dish, you know, they are mashed potatoes in it, it has all the spices like cumin, coriander, salt, lemon juice, little bit of sugar, it has green spices also and they taste yum and easy to make, not that difficult, you can make it within like a half an hour uh, and very easy to cook also. So that's why I, I love it and it's delicious. So. They are very versatile, you can have it in breakfast, you can have them in brunch, you can have them in dinner, you can pack your pack them in lunch also. So quick and easy, simple yet delicious. So the dough is almost ready and as you can see, I'm going to put, pull it out. So it looks like this. So now our dough is ready, we are going to set it aside for like 10-15 minutes while we prepare our potato mixture which is the filling for the alu paratha and the dough will look like this. The dough is ready, I am going to put 2-3 drops of water in it and let it set aside for 10, 10 minutes or so so that it becomes soft and the paratha will become very soft and fluffy. Now till our dough is getting ready. I'm going to work on the alu, that is the potatoes. What we have done is we have taken three boiled potatoes. And this is my masala dibba. It has all the Indian spices in it. And I love this dibba. I learned making this dibba also from my mom. I guess she learned it from her mom. And I'm adding one teaspoon of salt. Like half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one fourth teaspoon of red chili powder and I'm adding little because our red chili is very spicy, one fourth teaspoon of garam masala and half a teaspoon of cumin and coriander powder. To this I have already mashed up three green chilies, one inch piece of ginger and two cloves of garlic so I'm going to add that in this so it's going to be a perfect blend of green spices fresh green spices and bright spices and that's going to give the yummy flavor to our alu paratha I'm also adding like one fourth tablespoon of sugar and we are going to put juice of one lime in it. If you see with the kind of spices we added, it's giving like all kind of different flavor in this alu mixture. 
it has sour, it has salt in it, it has sweetness, it has spice and it also has a little bit of taste from ginger and garlic. Right now I'm going to add just half a lime juice. I'm going to taste it and then if I need more, I'll add more. Now I'm mashing the potatoes and making them ready for our filling. I guarantee you, once you make this dish, you're going to fall in love with it. And once you learn how to stuff your parathas with aloo, you can stuff them with paneer, you can stuff them with cheese, you can stuff them with onion and paneer, you can stuff them with mint and potatoes and paneer, oh, several different stuffings. It's just you have to be creative and you can come up with like 10 different stuffings. You can also make them sweet by stuffing them with dates and dry fruits and jaggery. If you don't like to mash with hands, you can have that vegetable masher or something which you can use but I don't mind using my hand I prefer hand because I can feel the smoothness of the stuffing and I don't want any lumpiness or uncrushed boiled potato in my stuffing so that's why if you want you can also add some grated amul cheese in it and make like cheese on the paratha and they will also taste yummy. Our dough is ready and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take like one teaspoon of ghee and knead the dough again to make it into a smooth yes. Keeping this ready for the to take out our parathas when they are done and now we are going to start preparing our parathas piece of dough just dip it in the dry flour prepare it like this and stir it it's very simple not difficult at all and anyone can make this part a spoonful of our almond mix and spilling it up in the paratha, closing it properly so it doesn't open up. I've been taking some dry dough, sprinkling on both the sides, and gently rolling it. Now we have to be very gentle, we don't want to press it hard because we don't want the mixture to come out. This is how it will look. Now the skillet is also ready. So let's transfer this in the skillet. Till it cooks on both the sides. And we'll work on the second paratha in the main way. When this one is cooking. So just repeat the same thing. For us, this is going to be a, a weekend dinner, but you can also use it for a breakfast or a lunch. You can pack it in the lunch box for kids or for your lunch when you go to work. Now it's time to flip this one. Now we are applying the ghee on the top. That is done. We have my ghee on that side as well. This is our homemade ghee. If you want, you can check out the recipe in the link. So today we are going to eat uh, serve this with raita. But you can always serve it with uh, any paneer sabji or any chutney or achar, whatever you like. Be nice and brown on the top. That makes the top very crispy and that would be like a soft, gooey, warm, 
potato masala, masala potato inside and that's what makes it very yummy. So first paratha is ready. second one. We are going to make all the rest of the parathas in the same way. So that's it. So guys, here we have our final dish. It looks awesome. So we're not going to wait anymore. We want to dig right in because it smells amazing. So I'm going to just take a bite. Mm. Guys, it is so delicious. It is packed full of amazing flavors. Like you feel the heat coming from the back with the spices that we've put in there and the green chilies. And you can also taste a little bit of the sourness from the lime. It's a perfect blend of a bunch of different flavors that you can get in one dish. So it tastes absolutely amazing. You guys need to try this recipe out for yourself at home. Let us know what you think of it because it's gonna become your brand new favorite recipe as well. So try it out, let us know what you think and keep on cooking.